WWE has announced the release of James Ellsworth. Share, subscribe, smash that bell, leave your comments, refresh my YouTube channel multiple times a day, every single day, so you're always in the know. Now, this is yet another release I did not, quite frankly, see coming. Let's call a spade a spade. James Ellsworth was entertaining. He was funny. He was unique. He was dynamic. I mean, yeah, he didn't have the build. He didn't have the structure. He didn't have the stature of a John Cena, a Randy Orton, a Brock Lesnar, um, a Batista. You know, he didn't have the aura of an Austin or a Rock, but he was still James Ellsworth. Ellsworth first worked for WWE as an enhancement talent against Braun Strowman in July of 2016. Ellsworth gained a, fo a cult following after the match which led him to making more appearances for the company that fall. He officially signed a one-year WWE contract last November. Make sure to share, subscribe, and smash that bell and turn on all notifications for this very channel. Ellsworth was then used as a comedy act valet for Carmella and most recently appeared in her corner on the SmackDown leg of the UK tour. And remember, James Ellsworth is the same man to have as many victories over AJ Styles than any WWE superstar I can remember, no matter if it was a fluke, no matter if it was tainted, no matter if it was controversial. Do you like my little shield attire I got going on here? I'm in full shield attire. Look at this. Look at the whole shield thing going on here. But anyways... Um, yeah, I mean, this is the first ever woman's money in the bank briefcase winner, and you release James Ellsworth, you get rid of James Ellsworth, you throw him off to the side, but I'm sure he made a pretty good amount of money for the time that he was in the WWE, I'm sure the WWE treated him very well, um, and once again, here is a guy that was definitely unique in the way he presented himself, the way he talked, the way he looked, and you know, you gotta give it up for James Ellsworth, and you know, he took what the WWE gave him, he ran with it, and um, you know, it, you know, it's 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 not a, a huge loss. It's not something that you're gonna feel uh, four four or five months down the line or a year down the line. But I'm sure the door will always be open for a James Ellsworth to return to the WWE. Uh, before his loss to Becky Lynch, uh, James Ellsworth had only wrestled a handful of times this year, with his last match being in May for World Wrestling Entertainment. So viewers and subscribers, James Ellsworth is not going to have it his way under the WWE banner. But you know, from merchandise, selling t-shirts, selling the crowd, selling in particular in the ring, James Ellsworth was a sure thing for the time he had in the WWE. And we will remember him for the things that he said. The things that he done. And well, it's all about done. And I'm sure James Ellsworth's going to do big things in the WWE. And, and outside of WWE. You know, and you know, like I said, he's developed a following in the WWE. He's recognizable. He's very notable. And hey, all the more power to James Ellsworth. WWE releases James Ellsworth. Your comments, your opinions. Share and subscribe for this breaking news development.